So I've been waiting for this product for such a long time and it's finally here and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. I really can't wait to unbox this, but before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography or maybe just photography in general, you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my images or some of my images, feel free to follow me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, so what is this? Basically, this is the Huyun Canva 16. In other words, it is an affordable editing tablet. So, I've been waiting for this. This cost me a little bit less than $400. And, you know, I, I remember having the old Cintiq about, about 10 years ago. And I... For some reason at that time, it really didn't sit well with me. Maybe because of the size, it was just 13 inches, but this one's about 16 inches. And of course, technology from then till now, plus the fact that this one is so affordable, I really can't wait to get my hands on it and try using it. And you guys will get a first-hand experience of my thoughts with this one, the Canvas 16. All right, so let's open it up. Okay. So what's included in the box? Basically, it's a tablet, a pen, the connecting cables, and I ordered the one with a stand. All right. Okay. Let's see how this one looks like and how it feels like. Okay, let's see. All right. Okay. Wow, it's a big, it's a big tablet. No, it's a big one. Okay, let's open it up. I want to see how it feels like. Okay. All right. Well, it is. It feels well made. Very nice. Okay. So later I'll peel this off, but let's see what else is inside the box. Okay. So I've got my stand here. Perfect. Because you need a stand. Um, it's very difficult actually to be editing this way. You want it, you want to edit it at an angle that's very comfortable for you. So the stand will really help. And this is an option that you order with a package. So here, there, so just open it up. Uh, there, open, there. So normal stand, different heights. This should be good. Let's test it out, put it on, all right. Then this one's open, lock it in. Okay, very sturdy. All right, so you've got your pen. Obviously, here you go. This is your pen. It's got some weight to it, so it's okay. It feels very much like my stylus. And at least this one I like. Um, I remember my old stylus, it never really had. This one feels better actually here, this one. Okay, then you've got a pen holder here. Then what is this one? This one is the USB power outlet and you've got two cables, two types of cables here. Uh, the first one actually is the older generation where you have the HDMI, the USB and a USB so that you can connect this straight to your computer uh, via the HDMI out and one is power and one connects to your computer but I won't be using this. I will be using this, oh that's an extension, I will be using this instead. This one is a newer way to connect these things. This is basically your power outlet that you connect here via USB-C. And this one goes directly to my computer since I use a Mac um, and it's via USB-C. So this one will serve as my HDMI output and this one will serve as my power. And of course, you've got your cleaning cloth and hey, check this out. It even has a glove. Pretty cool. I've never really used one of these. Let's see how it feels like. This is uh, for you not to get smudges whenever you're editing. See here? 
So let me set this one up and let's see how well it works, okay? Just give me a moment. Okay, so as you can see, I have my tablet all set up here. I have the cord connected via USB-C to an outlet over there and another USB-C cord here connected to my MacBook Pro's USB-C port. So basically that's it. Now, you also have to actually download the software to make this thing work. So all you have to do is go here to the U1 website. You go to support, download. Then from downloads, all you have to do is select your product model. In this case, this is the Canvas 16 2021. My OS is Windows, uh, sorry, Macintosh. Category is driver. And then you could see here all the other, all your options for you to download whatever version that you need. Let's say here, so submit there. Then you have options here for Mac OS. Then you just have to download this one and we're good to go. So once you've downloaded that, all you have to do is double click and copy it to your applications folder. Then the moment you've copied it to your applications folder, this is how the Huion software looks like. Now, the thing is, there might be some things that you might have to do to make it work, especially for, an, for the Mac OS, you just have to have permission set, but it's very simple, straightforward. It's gonna show you basically what you need to do. Then you can have an option on whether or not you want the tablet to be your main display, which basically now you will have to mirror your existing computer to this one, or you could use it as a separate display. And all you have to do is basically just link it to this one so that it works as a separate display, like how I am using it now. Now next, afterwards, I suggest you do monitor calibration. It's basically like this. You just point it this way. and you've calibrated your pen to your monitor. And once that's done, as you can see, I have Photoshop opened here. The screen is actually very nice. Um, there are so many options here also, as you can see, the, all these things are customizable. Um, I haven't really played around with it yet, but I do love the fact that it's a matte screen. And as you can see, I have video lights here now, and I can still see whatever it is that's on the screen. So. Let's go here and let's see. There we go. Oh, so much easier and it's very responsive. I like it. I like it a lot. And for the fact that this is only basically $200 or $400. Very nice. Ooh. This is really going to make editing a lot simpler and fun again once I've set this up on my actual workstation, which is there behind. So this one will be my third monitor whenever I'm editing. I love it. All these custom function keys, I'm pretty sure the moment I've set this one will make my workflow even more efficient. I can set this as full screen, space bar. This one could be the brush size. A lot of things can be set in this function keys that you don't even have to actually touch your keyboard anymore. Okay. So my initial thoughts with this Huion um, Canvas 16 2021, I love it for the price. It is well worth the money. I, I didn't expect it to be a matte screen. I do love the fact that it is a matte screen and IPS wise, it's not really a problem, especially because I am actually looking at it with this, with a studio light, but here we're actually okay. Okay. So if you guys are in the market for an affordable editing tablet, I highly recommend checking out the Huion Canvas 16 2021. It's at $400, give or take. Sometimes it even goes on sale, so you might be able to get it cheaper. But I do recommend when you get it, get it with a stand. And also, I really do like the size. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's good enough, it's a good space for you to actually work on. However, when it comes to probably color correction or making my initial tweaks, I'll probably do it there in my calibrated monitor. But I will definitely be using this for all my other tweaking. Now. This one will make everything so much simpler. I'm gonna get rid of my old Wacom tablet there in the back. And you know, I'm just so excited to edit. It hasn't, it's been a while since I've really been excited to edit. And this one got me excited, especially for the amount of money that this thing costs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see some of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.